Hey guys, this is Cheyenne and in this video I will talk about graph properties. Well, there are some definitions in graphs. The first definition that I want to mention is the degree of a vertex. Well, the degree of a vertex is the number of edges connected to that vertex. For instance, if we consider uh, this graph, in this graph, the degree of this vertex is 2, the degree of this vertex is 2, the degree of this vertex is 3, this one is 3, and this one is 2. So the degree of a vertex is the number of edges connected to that vertex. The graphs, we have incoming degree and outgoing degree. Well, the incoming degree is the number of edges which are coming to that to this specific vertex and the outgoing degree is the number of edges which are going out from this vertex. For instance, if, if we have uh, this graph, in here the incoming degree of this vertex, the in degree is 0 but the out degree is 2. For this vertex, incoming degree is 1 and outgoing degree is 1. For this vertex, it's 1, 1. For this vertex, we have 3 incoming and 0 outgoing. And for this vertex, we have 0 incoming and 1 outgoing. So in the directed graphs, we have additional definitions of incoming degree and outgoing degree. Okay, now the next definition is a walk on a graph. Well, a walk says that, for, for instance, if we have uh, this graph, a walk on a graph is if we start from a vertex and we move on the graph, we walk on the graph. For example, we can start from vertex 2, go to vertex 1, let me write it here. We can start from vertex 2, go to vertex 1, then go to vertex 4, then go to vertex 3, then to vertex 1 again. It's, there's no problem, we can go to a vertex many times then go to vertex 5, then come back to vertex 1, and so on. So this, for instance, this is a walk. This 2, 1, 4, 3, 1, 5, 1 is a walk on your graph. So the definition of the walk is this. If you start from a vertex, go over the edges to other vertices and you write down all the number of the vertices. This can also be defined for weighted graphs. There's no difference. Weights do not matter here. They don't have any effect on the walk. So walks can be defined in the same way. Also, they can be defined in directed graphs. The only difference is that if you traverse an edge, you should go on this in direction. For instance, if you have an edge like this, you cannot go from two to one. You can just go from 1 to 2. If you don't have an edge from 2 to 1, you cannot go from 2 to 1. So the definition is the same in the directed graph as well. The next definition is path. Well, a path in a graph is just a walk that does not have duplicated vertices or edges. We can go move to each edge and each vertex only once. So this walk is not a path because it visits vertex 1 so many times. But in a path, you can visit each vertex only once. For instance, if you have this graph, then in here, 1, 4, 3, 2 is a path. But 1, 4, 3, 2, 3, is not a path because it visits the same vertex many times. So a path is a walk. The only difference is that it can only visit each vertex and each edge at most once. The next definition is cycle. A cycle is if we start from a vertex, visit each vertex at most once and at the end come back to the same vertex. So for example here, if at the end I can I come back to vertex 1, then I have a cycle. So in here, if I start from vertex 1 and go to vertex 4, 
and then from vertex 4 I go to vertex 3 and from vertex 3 I go to vertex 2 and from vertex 2 I go to vertex 1 then I have a cycle well in the cycles again each vertex should be appeared only once so in here you can see that each vertex I come to each vertex once and I go out of uh, each one of them once as well so it's like the degree of each one of them in this cycle is two there are there are only two edges of the cycle connected to these vertices so a cycle is if we start from a vertex we go and visit each vertex at most one and at the end we can come back to the same vertex that we started from again cycles can be defined in directed graphs as well so if your graph is directed then your cycle should be directed as well a, a directed cycle is like this you should always move in the directions so this is a directed cycle but this is not a directed cycle if your edges are like this this is not a directed cycle because you cannot start from one of the vertices and visit all of them and finally i define hamiltonian path and Hamiltonian cycle. First, let's define Hamiltonian path. Well, a Hamiltonian path is a path that you start from one vertex, you start a path from one vertex, one of the vertices, and visit all of the vertices exactly once. So it's a path that visits all of the vertices. So if we start from this vertex, we will go and visit all of the vertices in a path. An example of a Hamiltonian path can be like this. If our graph is this, a Hamiltonian path on this gra graph can be 2, 1, 4, 3, and 5. If we go over this path, we can visit all of the vertices exactly once so this way we have a hamiltonian path not all of graphs have hamiltonian paths it's possible that a graph does not have any hamiltonian path it is possible so only some of the graphs have hamiltonian paths the other definition is for an hamiltonian cycle well the difference is that we have a cycle this time we have a cycle that each vertex appears exactly once in this cycle. So we see all of the vertices in this cycle. In the, uh, as an example, we can show a graph like this. This can be a Hamiltonian path. One, two, three, five, four. And then from four, we will come back to one. So it will be like this. One, two, two to three, 3 to 5, 5 to 4, and from 4 we will come back to 1. So this is a Hamiltonian cycle. We can go from here to here, from 2 to 3, from 3 to 5, from 5 to 4, and from 4 we can come back to vertex 1. So this is a Hamiltonian cycle. I made another video about types of graphs. Make sure to watch that one as well. So see you in the next video.